So we continue the coverage at XCON 23. Uh, we've talked about sustainability from the manufacturer side. Now we are looking at sustainability from one of the largest uh, tier one suppliers who looks at the engines. So uh, thank you so much for sparing the time. Uh, let us jump right into the significance of this year's edition at X1 for you. What is the message you're trying to convey to the customers? Sure, th thanks for, for the, this uh, interview. And I think that uh, for us, it's important to be in x today. Right. We are launching quite a lot of new engines. We are launching a 10 liters. That is a very important for us for the on highway and off highway, of course, we're talking today. Right. We are uh, 15 or so too. We are launching a uh, hydrogen engine also too. For the market, we believe that we are trying to expand our product portfolio right. media that is important to serve our customers. Think that our customers, global customers and also local customers, sure. are important. Sure. Is what we try, but uh, has been a very good show so far for us. And uh, news has focused on decarbonization that is important. Right. We continue to meet the emission and uh, exceed the emission. We try, but also we are launching quite a lot of new products, especially in the hydrogen. Uh, but we are launching, uh, was I said, a 10 liter, 15 liter. And we have a 6.7, 4.5 liter. So right. Uh, could, could you link these products to the segments they apply to in the CV segment? And also, if you have anything for the on-road segment, maybe for the tippers, uh, do let us know. Sure. Uh, again, we are focused mainly on highway, but again, yes. these all segments. We focus in segment in a back road loader, again, excavators. We do all the segment of uh, constructions right. uh, for compressors, for power generators too. We do so, but all the segment we have here. We cover all the segments we have uh, here in uh, most of the market. Right, right. Uh, out of these, which segment is giving you the maximum traction? Uh, you know, which segment seems to be more promising from a short to medium term perspective? Again, on the short, again, the construction in, uh, in India is, uh, is uh, growing. And yeah. we see the roads, again, many is investment in construction and right. those new roads is where we own. Again, on the construction, we try to see and we are focused on all the segment of the construction. Right. That's where you see the bigger growth. So would, so would pavers and motor graders pavers, be very, very important? Bike road loaders, again, we see that is growing. Right. We see most of the segment, again, that is growing in, uh, uh, in this Has way. the customer in the segment evolved from your past learnings? Uh, you know, are, are they demanding a mix of performance and sustainability, which perhaps was not a strong case uh, a year down the line? So. It's clearly that our customers first is looking for the TCO, the total right. cost of ownership that is important, but also they care about the emissions. Right. And we see more demand about how we can reduce, of course, uh, the fuel consumption that is important, the CO2. Right. And also the new emissions, we talk about BS5 and things that is important, BS4 today, but BS5 right. also too. Right. And I see that we have a pass for the new emissions coming. Right. But uh, of course, they're taking care about more environment. That is good also too about the new emissions. Right. And we see the trend is changing also to be not only about about cost, but also how we can have an engine that meets the, the stable sustainability right. for the future. Right. Now, in this, in the midst of this transition to CE5 or Bharat Stage 5 emission yes. norms, uh, you obviously are ahead of the curve. We know that you have the technology ready. Yes. There is a certain amount of pre-buying activity happening at the OEM side, at the manufacturer level. How does that have a direct impact or a bearing on your uh, production and sales? Yeah, I, again, it's a good question. I would like to say that uh, we have seen a change in the emission. Again, you know, the government delayed the emission to July 2025. Right. Was on a BS4. Again, that is that is uh, one of our, our concerns also too. Right. But again, that's been, uh, we see, uh, 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 from our personal point of view, again, that uh, the demand for these new engines are pretty cool. And I think that it makes, and I think that is is important for us to, to uh, to continue to invest on these new and new technologies. That is right. Uh, with all these different duty cycles, do you feel from the stage four to stage five, the performance dynamics have changed drastically? Yeah, of course. There's a stringent emission is changed, and the technology we need again. Community invest in a lot of innovation. Right. And we have, as I said, we have ahead of the curve in most of our segments. We have seen the stage five in uh, Europe, and also we are moving also CS five also in uh, in uh, in China right. and also Bharat as you mentioned the four and five moving also to right, India right. and we see a good pass. I believe that for us is important to be for you to be innovative and invest in our new products. Right, is what we are doing today also. Too. Right, uh, to match and complement your product portfolio, how are you strengthening your aftermarket uh, network? How are you looking at on-site servicing as a total solution provider now? Again, I, I, uh, we have, uh, of course, for us, uh, we, can, we have a very strong network in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in India. We right. have around uh, 3,500 dealers, 28 uh, distributors. It's important for us to serve our customers well. I think that we do a lot of uh, insight and also technology. In a construction market, it's still not a very, uh, very uh, 
very uh, well established to have uh, insight and also remote monitoring. Right. It's more on highway. Again, we start, but we are seeing a movement also to the off highway. There right. will be more monitoring, but not yet today. Okay. But we are investing in digitization so far the off highway too in the future. Right. And um, to be more connected between them. Are you, are you leveraging India as a global manufacturing hub for your other markets? You know, at what stage yeah. is localization in India for the global markets? We are, again, today we are doing a few things. First, we try to make sure that our customers, global customers, have a very good a very good support from us for the India market. Right. And also that is important. And is the first, is our first objective to make sure we support well our global customers for India. At the same time, we see a growth potential also for right. export from India. And we have seen some, we start to see some customer leveraging the India footprint and also a fully geopolitical also to help us also to sell across all the region, especially in the East Asia and Asia. Right, right. But Africa, Middle East, and we start to see some of the customers now exporting to Europe. Right. And we are BLP because, again, we have the plug, we can help them to be also to support uh, the export sales. And we are seeing a trend. Definitely to see the India customers exporting. Right. Uh, would you be able to give me a bifurcation of uh, the contribution of the India CEV segment for you in terms of the overall revenue? Uh, ballpark figure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, uh, first, India is around 10% of our 10%. global our sales. Right. Again, we do 33 billion. Right. And, uh, and, uh, and the currency is, uh, in India is so 3.5 Would it be fair to assume that there is enough headroom for you to grow then? Yeah, I'm sure. But uh, for the, uh, for the yeah, of course it is. <laughs> right. But uh, for the off highway, again, it's probably uh, we do around in India, we do 10% 10, 10 of okay. global our sales in India. Also, right, uh, right. For global. But it's still gross. As I said, we want to leverage India as a very good footprint. Manufacturing, have a lot of good engineering also capability. Sure. We have good product, and we develop uh, the same product in India for global. Yeah, right. Stage five is capable also in India, also tier four right. panel. We can develop engines from India for the globe. Right. Are we seeing, are we we seeing a lot of alternate fuel trains making way to the CEV segment also. It was there yeah. in the past, but today when you look around, uh, you know you have electrics, you you have all the alternate modes. Uh, hydrogen has made way. So uh, a word on alternate power trains and what kind of a mix will you have for, uh, say, a three-year uh, timeline uh, in India? Yeah, it's a good question. Uh, again, I, I, if I know the answer, I will, <laughs> it's better. I will try to give you right. my answer again. I believe that community is investing in uh, e-fuel. Right. We have e-fuel. Again, we have been uh, the HVO, HVO also too. We are also uh, uh, doing for, um, try to remember, the uh, different kind of fuel. But uh, we are investing... Electrification also too, we do yes. some, but again, it's still in the many in the low end. And we do fuel cell in some occasion, but it's still very hard and we have not seen personal hydrogen ice. I believe that hydrogen ice is very exciting. It is very exciting. And I see that uh, we can go around the show. A lot of, of the company right. are investing in H2 ice. Right. Again, I, I, it's difficult to say uh, three years. I'm, I'm, I believe that H2 ice has a, a lot of promising. Right. Because again, we need alternative batteries have also some place. In some market segments, right, and uh, I still can use the diesel engine. Will be with uh, emission will be for some years to come because it's not easy uh, to have an infrastructure available. Right, because right. Because we have the solutions, you need to have infrastructures. Absolutely, and it takes time. Again, right, that is right. why when you talk about three five years, again there will be a change, but it will be not dramatic change right. until you don't have infrastructure in place. Right. Now, my infrastructure will take probably 10 years. Right, right. Very good you, you, you spoke of the, the 10 liter plus engines that you offer, the 10 liter plus yeah. solutions that you offer. There is also a parallel demand for compact urban solutions. So we're seeing a lot of mini excavators, mini right, loaders, yeah. etc. doing the rounds over here. Mm -hmm. So does that then enhance the complexities because it's such a vast spectrum. You're looking at the bottom end and then you are looking at the extreme high end. Yeah, we are again in Cummins where we don't have a plug below for the compact business. It's right. the battery. We are trying to implement the batteries. I believe the compact business will be moving more to the battery electrification. Okay. That is more. We have some solutions. And we have some solutions right. that our focus is more 4 liters and above, 4, 6, uh, 10 liters and 15. Right. Below 4 liters, we don't have a clear product. We have some, right. but that is not our strength. Our strength is more about 4. About three right, liters, right. Is, uh, uh, is there pressure on the, the raw material and the input cost side, which then forces you to perhaps look at a pass-through to the customer, which might be inevitable, even though you don't want to. But, you know, there, there are certain segments where perhaps you have to pass down that cost to the customer. So yeah. how, how significant is that inflationary trend uh, or, a, or a input cost uh, pressure here in India? 
And inflation, again, I, I believe that when you look at globally, the inflation will be not down to the previous fake COVID. Again, okay. the inflation will need to be high right. in some ways, again, because it's, a, it's also a cost of the industry to have new technology. Right. Again, I don't think that will be, uh, as it will be lower than we have seen the last two or three years. Right. But I believe the inflation will be still continue to have inflation. Right. And price and uh, the market will be... Uh, will be going through. We have no choice. Right. And we try to limit our increase and cost, but we have no choice to pass through. Right. Because uh, not only I know the community are fluctuating, but we have always the constraint supply chain, suppliers, constraint and sustainability of these suppliers. Right. Also as uh, don't help us to reduce our costs or to we have no choice. Again uh, we see inflation coming we need to be in the next few years. Right, right. Not as ever we have seen the last few years, but will be and not lower than the Previous COVID, but we continue to have some inflation. Right, right. Um, to sum it up, all uh, in the ne- in the foreseeable future, what are the clear focus areas at uh, Cummins, and how do you uh, hope to uh, you know match the the wall, walk the talk? How how do you? Yeah, I <laughs> first I believe that the Cummins want to be a server. We want to serve our customers, our global customers, right. and our India customers well. And I think that uh, we continue to focus on TCOs that is right. important for them. We continue to invest in innovation. Again, that is important for us to have innovation. It's a part of our, our core company and core competence. And we right. try to develop new technology and to be, uh, to be the best in our what we do. We have a global support. And right. then we also gave us our, our, our customers in India to be able to export products. And we will continue to innovate in a new technology like uh, hydrogen, fuel cell, batteries. Because today we don't know what will be the key path for the future. Right. We right. have some trend, but uh, we believe that is still not defined. Because the regulation is a very regulated market in the future because of the right. decarbonization. And we are, we believe we need to decarbonize our countries. No, no, again, it's not that we have a destination zero or destination 2050. We want to be a net zero emission by 2050. Right. We want to pollute because it's important for us, it's important for the planet, right. and it's important for India. We right. want to produce, but it's a different technology. is not uh, is not so easy to define in the next uh, twenty years. Right. We have a path to offer all solution to our customers, and we all continue to develop these uh, different paths: right. electrifications, fuel cell, hydrogen, uh, uh, H2I engine, uh, right. and diesel. Continue to be a very important part of it. Right. But we continue to innovate and have the best engine in the market to support our customers. Right. Right. Thank you so much. I land on that high note. And I wish you all you. the best. Uh, Thank you so much forward. for your time. Thank